Hello everyone, Simon here, tasked to explain what the heck is going on in this podcast. Well, I'll tell you this, we were supposed to have a surprise in ARC released last week, but due to Neebs, yeah, I'll blame it on him, and his schedule change, he pushed the episode that was supposed to come out in ARC last week to tomorrow which is the day after the release of this podcast. Point being is we're talking about stuff you don't know anything about if you're listening to this on the day of release. It'll make sense the next day, but it's not the next day yet. So cat's out of the bag. But I hope you enjoy and understand what the hell's going on. Happy Thanksgiving. What's he doing in ARC? Is there an ARC intruder? Why is he here? (laughs) <laughs> who are we talking about? <laughs> who are we talking about? Ark is ruined forever now. Because Anthony's in it. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, everybody. Hey. Hi, guys. Budget Hi. Thick. I'm Budget Thick. <laughs> Listen, it was our idea. Uh, so if anyone's having a problem with it, it's not like a replacement. Hey, technically. Like, he's filling in a, a gap right now, and yeah. I'm sure it's very helpful. Technically, you give her credit. You do it. I'll, I'll give you the back the backstory. Okay. So uh, we were reading at Pin- Pino's. Me and Anthony and Aztecia mm-hmm. when she was around, and I was like, "Man, you know what? Thick's Thick's gonna, has a long recovery." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "You know, we're supposed to have three people." Yeah, you're at a disadvantage. Oh I, man. Well, I feel yeah. like every episode we're just grinding. It's like, okay, yeah. here's uh, the episode too. where we mm-hmm. uh, gather metal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, right. uh, yeah. What are we doing so, today, kids? Yeah. I'm like, you like obsidian? Yeah, I'm like we need to be able to gather quicker than Aztec. He's like, well, why don't you see if Anthony will do it? I'm like, hey, perfect. And he was just like, oh, yeah, you exist. I hey. forgot you were here. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's up? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I think that you guys should have one more. I do, too. Yeah, when Thick comes back, maybe we'll just be four yeah. versus two. That's fine. But when until Thick comes back, get one more that just shuts up. You can even rotate them out. whatever, However easy it can be, whoever's yeah. available, just a who, slave. A grunt, mm-hmm. a slave. You just grab stuff all day. That's it. So you could be maybe, uh, Anthony, you could be in charge of, you know, I don't know, court, any sort of communication and discord on yeah. the side yeah. while recording. Because you guys need all the help you can get. I mean, that's what I've been doing. The, we've recorded three now uh, that are behind of us doing. So I've been collecting rocks and obsidian and metal <laughs> yeah, and yeah, bringing yeah. them back. So yeah. fun. Getting things killed occasionally, but mm-hmm. mostly helping. Yeah. No, it is, it's a big help. Yeah. You've been know. enjoying it, though? Yeah. It's uh, it's just fun to play. Mm-hmm. I enjoy being in a series and hanging out with everyone. And you cut um, arc for so long. And I cut arc for yes. so long. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, I could never participate in it because mm-hmm. I was the camera. Mm-hmm. But now that I'm not, it's the first opportunity for me to actually play it. Yeah. And you don't really yeah. play it. So. so I'm realizing I don't know that much about the game other than watching you guys fumble through it for And we're years. the worst teachers. <laughs> <laughs> you learn from the best. To be fair, I didn't know about Wyvern Milk. All right. right. So, yeah. You know. hey, what are you guys was... talking about? And to our defense. <laughs> oh, huh? right. I don't think it's going to matter because you yeah. guys, look. Y- you had look, a dragon die. Here's what happened. A lot of people are like, how do they not know? I, I never wanted a Wyvern. I didn't go get a Wyvern. I just got dumped on my lap, and I tried to take care of it, right? Yeah. Right. I would have done some research had I gone out and got one. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, and it's not like we haven't been there before. Well, they changed things. Like, they had it, and then we went to Crystal Isles, and you didn't need it. Yeah. Okay. For certain See, dragons there, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. they, they, you fed them crystals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you need yeah. crystal milk dragons. back in scorched earth. Right. And people are mad that we didn't remember that from five years <laughs> yeah. ago. It's so long. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think we yeah, thought like, they just changed the rules and yeah. didn't think about it. Look, yeah, look, if Ark was the only game I played, I could have probably internalized it. But we play Ark and Seven Days and Long Dark and Green Hell. It's yeah. like we got all these things mulling in our brains. There's no way. There's yeah. no way to remember every little detail and every little mechanic. It's a lot. We, we should have remembered, but I didn't. I mean, we kind of did right when it died. We're like... <laughs> oh wait does it email like like then it kind of came to us <laughs> it did come to me i was like i don't know what's wrong with it i don't know why it's dying so so i heard you see i'm glad you said that too of course i forget everything but you know sometimes you guys chatter when you shouldn't and the doors open oops and i think i heard like ada say something about milk not having and i <laughs> went oh because we saw a thumbnail previously like oh they're they're they got a wyvern, or they're gonna get a wyvern. You know that was the giveaway, <laughs> yeah. return oh. of the wyvern. Yeah, there's so many. Fuck. Yep. The mm-hmm. very next week was just like, yeah. I just heard it died. I'm like, oh, it's dead. I told Dora too. I said, I heard, the, I heard there's no milk. I didn't know about milk before that. I'm going. We need to get a wyvern. Same thing would have happened. We yeah. had no idea about yeah. milk. <laughs> Granted, we already have two, but he yeah. really wanted to get another. It's so funny. Is like this is like war. 
and you're getting intel and <laughs> you're trying to it's up base you. what you do. Well, I'm paying Anthony on the side. Like, hey, yeah, 20, no, that's a good gig. A Why do you think I wanted to be on your team so bad? Right. I know the inside. <laughs> Damn it, he's a CIA plant. <clears throat> <laughs> Motherfucker. You got a mole. You do help me. You do occasionally call me in and say, like, can you help me with a technical issue? And I'm like looking down. Oh, you're looking at all of our I'm like, yeah, <laughs> click that button over there. And uh, what is that? Nothing. You're just seeing our dead tames all over. Oops. <laughs> 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 just watch your step. There's a lot of dead bodies around here. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, we've we've shared with you one thing we've screwed up. Do you want to share one thing? I would love to. You've screwed up. Yeah. Um. Let me think of one because we're really good. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Wasn't there something just in the last recording? The last recording, we. Oh, there was a lot of death going on in the last. And screaming recording. in the other room. I heard a lot yelling. of screaming in the other room. <laughs> well, we heard a lot of screaming out here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. I enjoyed Anthony hearing. Anthony in particular, Anthony's, it was really fun. Yeah, like your oh, the underwater. Your, your it, it won't be out nice. for another week or two, but there's a bit underwater. <laughs> it gets weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah I can't um, wait. I mean, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't a fuck. Oh, we up, were just. We were just dealing with um the giga, a giga. The, yeah <laughs> that was fucking with us that came like when we landed in this particular place i remember thinking to myself oh that's nice we can leave our dragons here and n nothing's gonna get to this area it, it seems like it would be a we place hadn't that... had a problem there before yeah mm. and then hmm. i don't know Interesting. giga there's a giga <laughs> might have like, fallen what? off the mountain or something <laughs> yeah. i don't fucking know where it came from and that's where we were prepping to actually get in uh, we didn't even roll yet, and then we ended up coming. Started the roll with, "This is what happened." Like yeah. there wasn't the extra five Story minutes. Time. We didn't have the opportunity to go back. It was just like, Fuck. okay. Cool. Even when you're as good as us, we we even fall up, up, across hard times. The just... audience has advised us in the comments to just leave you guys to it, and that'd be the best way to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> just starve just, you out. Just, yeah. Just let, just give it time. It'll yeah. take, the problem will take care of itself. Uh, hey, shit. we're building a beautiful family. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and I think that we're still in pretty good shape. The fact that we both we have both of our dragons still. Don't know how. Yeah, they almost died in the very I, beginning. I tell you, dragons can suck it, man. The whole just land, just land, just <laughs> land. Man, okay, I figured, land. I have oh, figured it out finally. What? Uh, well, I I, I I key bound my key is now L for land. And but when you do it, it is not immediate. You hit it, and the thing has to take a second to kind of figure out what to where do, to land. where to land. It's like but a it dog will trying to lay land. down. But isn't that just like uh, unfollow? Is that what is? No. Is there a particular land command? Yeah. Yes, there is a land oh, command. Shit. I think we, there's what, a land the one and a land all. Also, they yeah. need milk. Yeah, and women yeah. need milk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah they do. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, flyers in that game have always been just like uh, so obnoxious. It mm -hmm. pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. But it's been a, it's been still fun. We're just we're killing time over here, you know, waiting on you. We're working we'll on jumps. It. I think I'm the only one so really not enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm the only one. Yeah, uh, I just I'm getting so frustrated Beca because we're doing so much grinding and it has gotten yeah. so repetitive. Yeah. And, and I keep getting killed by just bullshit. Yeah, like the game kills me in a way that shouldn't be allowed. Where it's like, you know, I'll be like locked up against a rock or caught in a beaver tail. Something dumb. So it's out to get you. Yeah. So it just feels or just like. Or oh, just hitbox. Like he'll yeah. be behind an animal. Yeah. And it'll bite him. Yeah. So. All right. Well. Yeah. yeah. I understand that pain. That's annoying. Now, I'm hoping Arc 2 has a little bit more fidelity when it comes to moving around and like how the enemy like enemy interacts with other objects i'm sure it's gonna be because flawless. the clipping is what just kills me it's like man i just uh we're gonna find out on december 8th apparently is what the day really? they've, they've, they've announced that that's when a trailer is gonna drop okay. not the game yeah. oh, trailer. God. but today was when we're recording this there was like the pc uh, gamer showcase and it didn't show up today I mean, but they said more information coming soon in gameplay? december I, I hope it better, love to see, yeah, better be at this point. We need to see gameplay at this point. I don't yeah. want to see more animated Vin Diesel. Yeah. It's going to be all Vin. Yeah, I want to see a new fighting system, like, obvious in the gameplay. Hopefully you can see that. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. new building. Man, if they make it where you can blow a dino's leg off and it starts to hobble, that'd You're be You're pushing yeah. it there. You're that'd pushing it. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, it, it would, would be. be but I just... You're talking about, like, in Teardown when we shared yeah. that last week. That was amazing. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you want to show a clip of that, but we brought up Teardown that physics-based exploding destruction game. Little voxels yeah. where you can like blow little pieces of the dino yeah. off. Yeah. And Apsro was just killing, yeah. I guess I gotta Kinda destroy oh, the T-Rex. What a mission. Introduce it to modern oh, firepower. That's oh, that's This cool. looks better than Ark. It does. <laughs> well, Ark doesn't, yeah. All right, so hold on. I got a rocket launcher, maybe. That's amazing. Yeah, pretty neat. Oh, oh yeah! 
Oh, he kept that bitch. Yeah, there was a mod where someone had made a T-Rex and it would chase you, but you could shoot a rocket at it and it would blow its leg off and it would like fumble still over be trying. and still be trying to yeah. come after you. <laughs> yeah, the physics That's are great in great. that. It looked, it's amazing. It looked wonderful. Yeah. And it was like, this is what I want Ark to feel like because this would be so much more immersive. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All the wow. Uh-huh. You Ooh. said you did that and you recorded it because it would be no. nice. On, yeah, no. stream. On our Twitch. last stream. Yeah. On yeah. the stream. And oh, if you're yeah, subscribed to our channel, you can watch it after the fact whenever I, I it's convenient. It. For at least a limited time. Yeah. Um, yeah, what ARC should look like. That's kind of a good, you know, title mm. there. And then showing, you know, having a, a thumbnail of a dinosaur with one leg. Did you just change the podcast? Take You're out, notes, Anthony. ARC. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, is that our, yeah. is that our thumbnail? Just saying. It's like, if, I'm just saying, that right there could <laughs> no, that's have been. A good, that's a like that. Yeah. It would have been a Here's what we want ARC 2 to look like. And maybe not look like what it should be able to do. Yeah. What, right? What ARC mm-hmm. should be like. Yeah. Be like. Who wants their internet activity or personal data open for anyone to see? Not me. That's why I use NordVPN. I have no idea how they do it. I'm not tech savvy, but I know what malware is, and I know Likey. And with Nord's threat protection, when you download a file, it automatically inspects it for malware and scans URLs and blocks malicious ones. And if your VPN connection ever accidentally drops, Nord's automatic kill switch blocks your device from accessing the web. And if you fancy some extra protection, you can route your traffic through two VPN servers, doubling your encryption. Now, I'm not tech savvy, but I get that. And it's always nice when you're away from home, no matter where you are in the world, to just be able to connect with your favorite content. Whatever it is, you get to stay home virtually. And NordVPN has over 5,500 servers in 59 countries, so you can find a server near you for better speed or halfway around the world for more content. And thanks to NordVPN being a great supporter of our show, they are giving us an awesome deal. Go to nordvpn.com slash to get a two-year plan with a huge discount plus four months for free, and it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So go to nordvpn.com slash Neebs to get a two-year plan with a huge discount, plus four months for free. Thank you, NordVPN. My, my fear with ARC 2, is and it's very similar to ARC 1, is a lot of it's just going to be designed for PvP. And, you know, yeah. we, we like more the PvE element. Yeah. But... We'll see. I'm also uh, worried about the story. Me too, because Vin's yeah. involvement, you feel like there's this obligation of... To make a shitty movie. Make him talk, make him act more, uh, make him be the mm. kind of like the Doctor Who guy Shut in the up, Genesis Vin. thing. It's like it's, Conan in now, see, Conan. I, w- I wouldn't mind a narrative. God, and it is such a hard thing to get right in multiplayer, and I know we've talked about this ad nauseum, but I, I still would love to see an open-world survival game with a story that's intriguing and that you want to keep following. And the mm. forest is really one of the only ones that's done it right. Um, Subnautica. Subnautica did it right, but Subnautica wasn't multiplayer. Okay. Yeah, that's so the difference. If that's were, the though. difference. Yeah, but if some, yeah, if if Subnautica were multiplayer, that would that would have been perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, we're not really paying attention to grounded. Like we are a little bit. We are. We, you have to <laughs> to like. It's our little way. through line in that series to kind of keep us yeah, moving forward. Of course, I yeah. get it. But holy shit! Like when we were recording, my first interaction with something that talks in that. <laughs> I was right next to you, dude. <laughs> I hope. I hope it doesn't stay that way. Oh, that was yeah. crazy. The I, game is amazing, though. It is. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. I love and there's it. not. Uh, hopefully, there's not a lot of scenes where something's talking. Hopefully, that's front to you. loaded. They got it out of the way. Here's what's happening. Yeah. Good luck. I oh, think boy. so. I hope yeah. so. And I, I think that's going to be the case. I mean, we'll see towards the end um, or as as we progress. But the beginning was great. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, boom, you've landed. You're small. Go. Yeah. Yep. Why? I don't know. Figure it out. Yeah. And the more I learn about what you can build and what you can do, I'm, I didn't expect it to have all this. Quite I, a bit, huh? Yeah. I was yeah. in creative mode the other night, too. You haven't seen anything. Zip lines Like, like when you shit. unlock everything in the game, it's kind of impressive how many weapons there are, tools, yes. See, that's all great. this stuff. That's yeah. what we need. Remember when I brought up, though, the one thing? The one thing of sadness. Oh, man. Yeah. It's just like, you know, like I was bringing up Half-Life 2 and, and games that do it right, where as far as like the bane mm. of your existence, the whole game. Yeah, the spiders are intense right off the bat. When you can take control of them eventually, like end game or later game in, in grounded. You're saying if you could, right? If, if you, you could. could take over a spider and be riding that fucker around. Yeah. Oh. Riding animals, like even the ants. Riding ants would be cool in that yeah, game. Yeah, a little ant just really? dip, 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 yeah. going through. That'd well, be great. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's great. Maybe that's that's your next update. Sure. Yeah. You can tame little animals. You yeah. know those little green things? Are they called aphids, yeah. I think? Uh-huh. You can tame those and they're adorable. They're just oh, for cuteness though. Yeah, they're just cute little pets. None of them help yeah. you at all. I'm sure they do something, It'd but cool I don't if they know what. nipped a little bit or something. I don't yeah. know. They'll kill your plants, I know that. Oh. Yeah, they, well, that's what aphids do. Right. 
I was impressed when I killed one. They were very skittish, right? Yeah, but yeah. they're adorable and cute. Yeah, but I didn't know, and I wanted to cook one, so I knocked it down, and then when it fell, it was stunned. Otherwise, they're too quick, and then just one whack. Nice. There you go. Maybe two whacks, and I killed it. Yeah. Did you guys ever get aphids in high school? Or not high school, like elementary school? Mm-mm. No, this as is the pet? first time I've mean? ever heard not of an aphid. Not as a pet. Like, it was like, in, in elementary, I don't well, know, they give you science, aphids? I don't know. It's probably second they give you or lice? third grade. What is no, it? No, they just like, it was like the science portion of of class you I cut guess. them open nope. i know you don't want them on your plants they'll ruin they, your plants yeah they eat they eat chlorophyll i'm pretty sure you know I'm what eats shaky it? guys you know what eats aphids anything ladybugs i believe that you can mm. order a bag of refrigerated ladybugs in the mail that's what i'm saying you could order a and bag of refrigerated aphids that what we had in like second or third grade i remember like having just looking refrig- at aphids <laughs> Well, the scale in that game, there are, there are ladybugs and there are aphids. Those aphids must be must be fucking like tiny. They're like, tiny. They are. even hard to see. Super okay. tiny. All if right. they're on your plants, they're just like little specks. What did Almost you do like a flea. What did you do with them? I remember probably just observed them. Like it's not like we dissect. They them. lived. Like a flea. They circus. were living. Yeah. Okay. Just so it's like, like a little looking at them. You didn't take them farm. home, did you? No. God no. <laughs> but they're like <laughs> everywhere kids. around you, so it's like. Yeah. Did like people try to sell them as like you know like sea monkeys? No, I just think it was probably a school science thing. Oh. You know? Hmm. Because there's a market for that. Some that you can't uh, take apart. Why don't you get some hmm. for the office? Yeah, we'll get yeah. some yeah. office yeah. aphids. Yeah. yeah. Just leave them out. Right. <laughs> Release them, and every once in a while, oh, hey. Oh, there's an aphid. There's we'll a corpse. Call them offids. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not a laugh. I'm not looking for a laugh. I'm glad I'm on the other team. I wasn't looking for laughs. Oh, God. What'd you want us to do? Huh? What would have been the right? I'd just be like, yeah, that's a good name yeah. for marketing. Okay. I frowned. Clever. Okay. Clever to rallies. I frowned. It's not I that. <laughs> Sad emoji. No, I'm right. smiling. <laughs> uh, fuck uh, off, all of you. Oh, man. Like, he's talking about emojis. Um, there's a, I, I don't remember this kid's YouTube channel, but there's a, a kid who's just like getting a shit ton of subscribers, and all he's doing is fake Discord conversations. Okay. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, it's just text and emoji, you know. Yeah. It'll be something like bling, bling, bling. And you just kind of watch it. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of into it. And then something like bling, Vlad- Vladimir Putin has entered the chat. And then music, dun, like, <laughs> dun, dun, bling, dun, bling. Dun. Joe Biden entered the chat and they start talking shit. It's like, it's just kind of brilliant. Yeah. This is kind of brilliant. Cut I it mean, out, Vlad. Stop it. Simple content. But it's like, okay, huh, you know, that's it's fun because Discord's. You know, everyone uses Discord nowadays. It's like the Jerky Boys on Discord. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I've seen similar but it's themes. Completely with fake. Oh, yeah, text fake. messaging. Jerky Boys just, was completely imagine, fake. Yeah. No, no. Well, they. they oh, oh, I mean, they're characters. Yeah, they're characters. And yeah. they they really did prank some people, right? Yeah, but this is the same kind of thing. Yeah, no, yeah. This Except is. I mean, it's, it's fake. It's all, it's all fake. All but, fake. You know, he's telling a story through these Discord conversations. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Discord the movie <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> it's just two hours of bling. They did the Facebook one. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, what's going to happen next? Oh my God. <gasps> Tina's cheating on Charlie. What? Hmm. He left him on red. You really could do that. It yeah. really, it, <laughs> oh, a totally. whole yeah, movie absolutely just could. in that. Visual effects budget, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh my God, everything's art- blowing up. Oh my God. The entire soundtrack could be with Art List. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Let's make this yeah. movie. We'll We're start making, making the, movie, the movie. And then we'll rent it for mm-hmm. like six bucks. <laughs> what if we took uh, old novels? And adapted them into text messages. Like we could do uh, Ben Hur, but it's all just messages. All Discord. Are you saying Ben Hur was an old novel? Or a movie. Any old story. <laughs> Any old story. Was Ben Hur not a book first? I doubt it. And what? And then have like the characters, like with Maybe. their, in Discord, like they have their own like yeah. little image yeah. and their name. And, you right. know, and then. War and Peace, if they had phones, and just back and forth. In messaging. Yeah. It's a lot of typing. I'm out. Well, that's what books are. A lot of typing. I know. Yeah. So I'm out. He's out. not a reader. He's like, books out. No, no, no. I like books. I don't want to be part of the movie. Okay. <laughs> a lot of typing. You're losing out <laughs> on a lot I know. of residuals. <laughs> Tons. <laughs> that's how Bezos got his money. Yeah. That's what I heard. A lot of people don't know about that. Why yeah. did he give a hundred million to a millionaire? What? I want to personally thank our sponsor, Shady Rays. I now wear my Shady Rays every day, where before I hardly ever wore sunglasses. First of all, the lens quality for my eyes was a game changer. I didn't know polarized lenses made such a big difference. And Shady Rays gives you tons of styles to choose from. But there's two very big things that set Shady Rays apart from the rest. 
The first is price. Great deal on a great pair of sunglasses with awesome lens options. That's a fact. Check it out for yourself and you'll see. But the next part is kind of crazy in a good way. With their protection program, if you lose or break your shades on day one, they will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. Sit on them, doesn't matter. Run them over with your car, whatever. Just send them back. And if you're looking to gift Shady Rays for the holidays, the Lost and Broken coverage transfers over to anyone that you gift them to. They'll get great polarized shades and protection no matter what happens to them in the future. Get the wrong style for yourself or somebody else? No problem. With Shady Ray's free 30-day exchange and returns, there's nothing to worry about. You either love the shades or Shady Ray's will pay to ship them back. Shady Ray's are the best holiday gift you've never thought of giving. And don't forget to check out their Black Friday selection. So visit ShadyRays.com where you can find all their newest and best shades. Thank you, Shady Ray's. All right, back he, up. He gave $100 million to Dolly Parton to do charity work. I'm like, why don't you just do the fucking charity work? Because she probably, gets to choose There's probably some it. tax benefit. Ah, probably. Yeah. And it went through Dolly. He's buying goodwill. Like, <laughs> I yep. just, okay. Okay, Jeff. Well played, devil man. <laughs> 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 Mr. Hey, Bezos. I like Dolly. No, Dolly's wonderful. Oh, I, like, I wasn't I like ripping her. her. Dolly. Hey, she has a nice He's going to give someone a, yeah. how much? $100 million? $100 million. Million. Yeah, give it to Dolly, right? But to do charity, I'm like, to do whatever she, she wants. Do the charity. Well, if she she's... thinks her most important charity needs money, it's kind of big to be like, okay, I get to do this in my name. There you go. But right. you know, hey, Jeff, <laughs> give me a hundred million. I got an idea. Okay, I know Dolly. some people and big boobs. <laughs> That's the um, real reason. She everything I've ever heard about her, she's just like a, a pleasure. Yeah, I heard. She's, I heard she's and... nothing but a sweetheart, and she's also very promiscuous. Yeah, mm. that's sort of her. Good yeah. for her. Hell yeah, good for her. Promiscuous. Yeah. yeah. Currently. Uh, uh, Currently, I don't cougar. know. Probably still, yeah. I heard this from spunky. someone that apparently worked with her, but this must have been a decade ago. Well, just look at her old interviews. She's spunky. Mm. Did she have any kids? I don't know. I'd be curious to see what, like, a... Well, I bet I, she I, has I, over 15. Might be one or two <laughs> hidden under them damn tits. Her family is, uh... <laughs> they never made it out. <laughs> Yeah, there's big people that found french fries under there. <laughs> Feed the world. Feed the children. Yeah, that's where all the charity work's going. What's under Dolly's tits? <laughs> she could probably hold $100 million under there. Yeah. Oh, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the briefcase? Oh, wait, I didn't need one. A lot of women keep things in their boobs, man. Yeah. Oh, dude, I would, too. It's convenient. Hell, yeah. They don't have pockets, so what are they going to do? Yeah. Boob it up. Yeah. Boobs, the pocket of your chest. Mm-hmm. Is that why pockets in, in women's clothing hasn't become a thing? Because they're just like, eh, we don't need it. Well, I don't most understand. of their clothes are kind of form-fitting and tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to squeeze a pocket in hearts. there. I guess so. But you, we could change it. We could have a resolution. A lot of clothes out there designed for women that aren't tight that still don't have pockets. But yeah. how many women could fit a phone in their pocket? Only probably, in their back pocket. Probably none. You know, women keep their phone in their back F pocket. Phones and women have and I larger phones, I think. What? Women's phones are, are pretty big sometimes. Well, well, they're the same as all the other phones. Well, we've yeah, gone through the big phone phases. <laughs> the fuck you, talking you know about? those lady phones My wife's phone's always big. bigger than my phone. Right. <laughs> well, that's uh, not analytical so, data. Exactly. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a female that you know. Right. That has a bigger phone than you. You're yours. putting that in the pumpkin category? <laughs> oh, hey. Big listen, phones I had pumpkins. lunch with uh, Thick last weekend. Yeah. And uh, so his daughter was driving. Right. And oh Thick wanted to go to Starbucks, <laughs> and we did. And they both got coffees. And what flavor was hers? Pumpkin spice. Nuff said. <laughs> Nuff. <laughs> There's a. I, I think I brought it up to you. I don't know if I showed you yet. There's a new Meat Canyon cartoon. <laughs> I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, where it's oh, God. just this lady going through this drive through getting pumpkin spice stuff, and she keeps going over and over again, and she just eventually turns into this horrible, freakish pumpkin. Yeah. It's okay. Who That'd continues be to beg for more? <laughs> it is yeah. freaky. I watched it late at night with, went with, with this techie the other night, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love his stuff. Listen, this stuff isn't just... Made up. Well, the phone thing is, is. Okay, well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, see that's, what? That's, that's what are we going to see? You wait. And wait for it, what? And the next year, there'll probably be data yeah. out Women the are just buying tablets. <laughs> and now the phone's carrying them around. According, according to Neves, women like pumpkin. Yeah. Women and then, love pumpkins. And larger phones. And large phones. And large, large phones. phones tight phones, clothing. Tight clothes. And pumpkins. usually big keys. And they store their big phones big keys. in big keys. their boobs. They'll put a lot of stuff on them keychains. Oh, you mean the keychain is... is yeah. Overdone. Yeah. Yeah. An unreasonable amount. We need amount. a woman around here to give us more perspective. 
to back me up on <laughs> so, this stuff. My girl lost her her fob, her you know, key fob. But yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and she's got to use like the the primitive key. Oh, gross! <laughs> and she fucks it up. All, she puts it up upside down. And, <laughs> like, it's like, oh my god, we are the worst. We have just like degraded ourselves. Yeah. I have a key oh, in my yeah. car. I don't ever have a button. People always say, "Oh, did you lock it?" I don't have that feature anymore. I'm sad. <laughs> She feels like right. such a primate right I now. Know, it, it, I know, it feels so old. <laughs> Gotta put the key in like a monkey. <laughs> what? Because they make it such a damn ripoff to freaking replace those things. It's like 400 bucks yeah. to get what? a new key fob or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They Don't lose a key fob. Good God. I always forget there's a key Ridiculous. in there. Because you pull it out and it's just this little plastic bit and the key. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Neat. Meh. I bet there's people who don't even know there's a key in there. There Kid, are kids who are like, what? What? What are you talking about? Oh, my God. About? This is going to be a TikTok. Like, did you know? Pop. <gasps> no oh. way. When did you learn? When did you? I was you this know. days old I when I learned there's old. a key right. in my key. I was now days old. <laughs> <laughs> I love those things, though, because, you know, whenever it's you go, me too. It's just, I don't know. I still get a kick out of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think of the folding phones? You seen those? I'm on it. I don't think I've yeah, really from seen from a couple one. of years like ago, a flip like phone it's from a new. decade. No, not a flip phone. No, I mean, folding phone. Oh, the folding it looks, phone. It looks like you know a, a normal phone, but it a actually screen. will fold. The like screen if this folded in half right here. Oh, yeah. okay. Have you not seen one like held one and man, run I your think fingers I saw one across at the it? Store. Yeah, I saw yeah. one at a uh, Target, mm-hmm. and I just picked it up and went, "Oh, neat." But it, so is the screen? Does it have a line in it when it's unfolded? Nope. No. Well, it it does, but it's so it's a you can feel it with your finger, but not visibly. Really? Yeah. yeah. You can no, it's folding LCD actually fo- makes a fold. Okay. Yeah. Well, so it makes me wonder though. Yeah. Like how long, how many times can you fold it? They're rated now up to like thousands and thousands. Okay. I mean, it's it... not exactly there yet, but well, it's improved from like three years ago to now. I'm, I almost want one. What are you saying? Yeah. There's only a certain amount of times you can fold it? Yeah, before you actually see like a crease in it, or it actually yeah, affects it visually. The screen visually. starts getting a little messed. I up. mean, there's amount, there's yeah. an amount of times you can I write to your hard drive, you know, fifteen thousand or something. Yeah, I get it. But when I get a phone, I want it to last like five to eight years. That's fair. They're and, not there yet. And Neves, and you know, fifteen to yeah, twenty. Yeah, Neves wants his phone to last forever. <laughs> I just don't know why the fold. Okay, I got to see one clearly because yeah. it's like buying a car. Like you know, how many times is this door gonna shut? You yeah, know, but it's, it's not, not like, gonna work. Like, like, like when the folding phone first came out, there was already complaints. Oh like, yeah, this is like generation two or three. We're it was on like, three it was now. Like, imagine okay. a piece of plastic that you kept bending, and then the crease started getting more. more uh, yeah, okay. so that's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah. I'm just yeah. glad this technology is happening because I remember reading in elementary school, like in those Lifetime magazines or whatever they were. In the future, you can fold LCD screens. Scientists have proven that you, you were can in make elementary a fold. school. Yeah, when they were talking about folding <laughs> LCD screens, and I was like, I can't wait for that. Twenty years later, we were getting fucking aphids. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Like an LED screen. <laughs> yeah. I had an LED. I studied an aphid on that. Oh no, Anthony had an old man moment though. Not oh too long no, ago. guys, this is it's fun. happening. Anthony's, yeah. Anthony's getting old. Oh, hello. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. It's pretty Did good we, right now. What was it again, though? Oh, well, we were out eating with our young buck editor, Jack. Oh, yeah. And Anthony brought up Spaceballs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Jack's like, I don't know what Spaceballs is. I've never seen Spaceballs. And Anthony oh. felt old. Oh. But now you are a, uh, you're like an encyclopedia of, of old To be pop fair, culture. yeah, I do tend to go backwards. Yeah, you lot. remember lyrics from songs from the yeah. 60s. And I've seen so everything. many 80s movies. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. <laughs> but Anthony doesn't know what songs are from. Like, you know the song Wipeout? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, from uh, Donkey Kong. Probably a surfing. <laughs> it's a Donkey Kong song. <laughs> I just think of surfing when I hear that song. <laughs> right. Surf. Donkey Kong. But Donkey Kong was fun. <laughs> yeah, Donkey Kong was great. <laughs> the only thing I associate it with is, is when I was in high school band and playing, like, you know, pep rallies and shit. Yeah. Oh, I bet that was fun to play. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. simple and easy to do. And, you know. It's yeah. a very fun percussive. What is song. it from, Neves? What is it? Well, I mean, it's Educate like a, it's from surfing. It's like okay, see, I knew that. It's from a better example. It's from that that I don't know the band's name, but it's it's like beach music. Okay, it was uh, probably used in a '50s movie where they were like, "Let's go hang it on the beach, man." Yeah, it makes me think of uh, the Beach Boys, but it wasn't the Beach it's Boys the beach that boy. no. I know. But it makes me think of the yeah, Beach it's Boys because it's that whole whatever. Yeah. Oh, here we're gonna get some research. I'll look it up for you. Surfing on his Saran Wrap foldable phone. Surfing USA. The holiday seasons are coming up and they're crazy busy, so it's a perfect time to plan ahead with Factor. 
who happens to be the best in ready-to-eat meal delivery. They shop, prep, cook, and deliver to your door so you can enjoy chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals, minus the hassle. Always fresh and never frozen with 34 meals per week, including Gourmet Plus, Keto, Calorie Smart, Vegan and Veggie, and over 36 weekly add-ons, so you'll have plenty of nutritious, flavorful options to choose from. And Factor not only offers me fast and simple solutions if I'm too busy to cook or if I just don't feel like it, but they also help me stay on top of my goal of eating healthier on a regular basis. And every meal I've had from Factor has been delicious. And Thick said the same thing, and we're damn picky. And in addition to ready-to-eat meals, they have cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep you energized during the holiday season. So plan yourself a break and head to go.factor75.com slash 60 and use code NEEB60 to get 60% off your first box. That's code NEEB60 at go.factor75.com slash neeb60 to get 60% off your first box. Thank you, Factor. Going back to, I know it wouldn't be me, but Absro, Mm -hmm. any games you're seeing or playing right now on the side that we're obviously not playing on the channel that you're having a lot of fun with? Oh, uh, God of War. Review God oh, of War. So, yeah, review all right. uh, so far. Uh, so far, I like it's it's like the first one. I'm maybe I'm not that far. Well, not that far. Probably ten hours in. The first but, being the last one. Yes, I'm. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, the first. Of yeah, course, yeah, everybody knew what you meant. 2016 God of War. Yes. Um, so when it starts, yeah, it feels very much like that. It's like okay, it's it's just this again. But as it goes, you get new powers and there's some twists and turns. You're like, oh, okay, I see what they're doing now. This is awesome. Um, if you like the first one, you'll love that one. Mm. How far are you in? Ten hours. Ten. Mm-hmm. Any mm-hmm. guess on how long the campaign? Well, is? I, th- I think I've heard twenty to thirty. Okay, okay. That's I've a good seen length. I've seen quite a few comments of people asking if we would do a playthrough just because we did one the first time. Mm-hmm. You can still kick the chain. Oh, good. <laughs> they brought Man. that back. Kicking the chain. Sur- Surf Surferis or Surfaris is, is the name of the band. Okay. Wipe out. Yep. Me, can one I hit, the, one hit wonder? See that, let me see that name. <laughs> like, oh, you mean the Surfaris? Is that what it is? <laughs> Phoenician? <laughs> I knew that as soon as he said Shut it, up, you're Anthony. like, I, I, <laughs> Surfaris? Like Safari. Yeah, Safari. Man, I hope you're wrong. Safari. What the fuck am I wrong on that? Is it F A R I? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's Safari. <laughs> That's not a word. I didn't even have to look at it. It's so with A R I. No, you him say Surfaris. 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 That sounds like a crazy sci fi game or something. Well, of course, Uncle Puns goes right to Surfaris. I didn't. Anybody could have made this mistake. It's a crazy word. And, no, at anybody. No. <laughs> Did well, they do anything else? The snoot. The snoot you don't on your face right Bueller's now. Day off, so. Well, there's a lot yeah. of garbage. A lot of debris around here. Yep. <laughs> That's a real word, though. <laughs> the 1963, the, Saf- the Safaris uh, <laughs> did the Wipeout song. Hey, now listen, uh, Bob, Barry Hill, Pat Conley, Jim Fuller, Ron Wilson. He's not a Beach Boy, is he? Well, well, there was a Wilson. There was. But, Wilson. I, but I don't know about Ron. It's not Ron. Not Ron. Ronald Ronald Ronald. Ron. His cousin, okay. his cousin yeah, Ron was Ron. in this one. Well, I can do a Beach Band, too. I like delivered. Beach music. music. My cousin's killing it with Beach Boys. The Beach Boys have so many great songs. They do. And such a unique sound. That, like, like that beach they guitar ha- kind of thing. Yeah. They mm-hmm. have uh, one particular song that I heard someone was making fun of it. <laughs> Because they had, they might have had a lot of hits, but they had some really fucked up, like weird, <laughs> shitty. Like there was a one song that was like the wind chimes, and it was just like the guy, the wind chimes, oh the wind, ch-. and you hear the wind chimes going. Like that was a fucking, that was a Beach Boys. Too. Yeah, the huh. whole song was like really like they were pretty drugged out. Mm-hmm. They did a lot of wacko music. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Did they do California Girls? Was that them? No, that's Katy Perry. Um, no. Wait, I think so. How did uh, how does yeah the da, na, 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 yeah that's, that's yeah. the Beach Boys mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. yeah when I was three I could sing that whole damn song mm-hmm. and then what's his name did it Katy Perry no it was like a before that <laughs> what's his name David Lee Roth oh yeah yep yeah he oh. did some yeah. did he do a version of the the Beach Boys song yeah okay got you so like a redo all right all right rock and roll he was a hell of an entertainer it was rock and roll it was rock and it roll was. it was David Lee Roth <laughs> last tequila did I say David Lee Roth right yeah. Okay. It's not David Lee Roth. 
I don't care. David if it, Lee Roth. I, yeah. 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 Hmm. Oh, what? Uh, wore my belt today. Oh. Well, Warren's belt. Warren. Yeah, check this out. Yes. Leather. Look at the leather work on this. Oh, Ooh. wow. It looks like a braid. Where's the, where's the name? <laughs> you see? It's, you where's see, the uh, name? Here, I'll turn the light on. Not enough light in here. Yeah, I got to see the name, the, the famed yeah. name. All right, big overhead lights are now on. Yeah, someone get a photo of it so we can put it on. Uh, yep. It on I'll the get you well. as well. Like oh, yeah. two, okay, okay, a yeah. two-tone Do you see? accented leather in the middle. I don't hate that. Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a sweet belt. What's throwing me off here? Not really throwing me off, but like. Get a good picture of Neeb's butt for the audience. Simon is currently looking at the crack. Your jeans with the take your pants off, Neebs. But the outside on his Neebs. jeans, he's got the the tag. It has this the size Neebs and now, everything on the outside. That's he's now great. removing the belt. Oh man, that thing's floppy. Pass yeah, it around like show and tell. Floppy ass. Yeah, so looks like a dead snake. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a quality <laughs> belt. Mm. Yeah, the name is right here above this little. Uh, oh, now I leather, see it. You had to have a red light. It it's me, kind yeah. of like impressioned in there. Yep, we are now passing it around. Yeah. Yeah, we are all may. touching the belt. That is such a floppy. It's, you, so, I didn't it's a well worn belt. I mean, whoever, when I got that belt from a thrift shop, someone may have wore this belt for who knows. 50 years or yeah. something. Yeah. I'd love to hear the tales. Oh, yeah. I bet that scene. belt has beaten several kids. Yeah. For sure. Maybe. Yeah. It's, you can smell the children on that belt. Sir Faris was writing yeah. Surfing USA. <laughs> the tears. When they the were tears working of on this children. belt. And at one really point. Softened that belt. Man, the life of this. At one point, that thing was a cow. Yeah. Crazy. Half the leather's falling off, falling off this belt. He was coming back at you. He, ah. doesn't, he doesn't want to touch that old belt. Oh, I mean, I, I, it's a belt. Yeah. How many yeah, diseases could it. be on that? It's thinner, and you wouldn't expect that feel. Yeah. Okay, damn it. Let me have it. All right, throw it at him. Oh. So. Ooh. I'm, exactly like I thought. Okay, yeah, fair exactly. enough. Yeah, exactly. You regret right. it. Well, you're, you I didn't know you were a belt a tour. I just wanted a picture of the damn Warren thing. I'm curious, though, about the life of things, you know, because, like, I was asking Mom uh, about an old car we had when I was growing up. Because we had a car that looked like a Starsky and Hutch car, but it was a Pinto. And okay. every time you had a Pinto growing up, yeah, that's amazing. It looked like the Starsky and Hutch car. Those are great. I mean, mm. they're a unique looking car. So when I was in elementary school, my mom would be driving to. Uh, uh, she was a waitress, and she would have to drive by my school, right as it was our like recess time. So I would kind of play and keep my eye on the road so I'd see her go by. Mm -hmm. And I see the big, you know, the red Starsky and Hutch car going out, I'd run to the side of the road and wave, and then she'd <laughs> hey. wave, and then That's adorable. she's <laughs> off to work. Yeah. So uh, I'm like, I'm like, did that? Because she sold it to someone she worked with, this girl who was like way past 16 and just wouldn't drive. You know, some, you ever know that person? You, okay. Anyway, so she bought the car, and she's like, I don't know, 20-something. She's like, all right, I'm going to take this car, and I'm going to learn to drive. Mm -hmm. and I was like, did she ever learn to drive? She's like, no. She ended up like giving the car to like her brother or something, who turned it into a race car. <laughs> yes, that's pretty hell cool. Yeah. Oh. I feel like these days the youth are a lot less driven to get their license. No, maybe. Um, my daughter. I mean, you know, this is just personal data, but uh, she can't wait to get her damn car. Yeah, I felt like car. that was the norm. Yeah, but I've definitely met a lot of people who are like, no, nah, I don't. Yeah, around here or we do know you know. in a bigger city, it oh. makes sense. Like if I were a teenager sure. in a big yeah. city, like no, I just walk everywhere. Yeah. So I don't need a car. Where the fuck am I going to store it? It's expensive to park. And yeah, that. for sure. Uh, yeah. Here, everything is spread out, so yeah. you kind of need it. But right. I mean, uh, you throw COVID, Uber, Lyft in there, and there's yeah. a lot less incentive, I believe. That's these true. Days. That's, that gets expensive though. Mm -hmm. God, I can't imagine being young and yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking at that like, oh uh -huh. my god. I've thrown away so much money. <laughs> uh, or you've put it back in... I put it into my mouth. Well, what? Uh, What'd you put in your mouth? The, the food that I ordered on DoorDash. Oh, I thought we were talking about Ubers and Lyfts. Oh, well, well, that too. Uber Eats. Sorry, yeah. my bad. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, nah, I you get know, that. Uh, I uh, I encourage people, because I don't know, like, I've, I'm the old guy here thinking, you know, like, oh, it's different than when I was young. Because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of kids are starting off with, like really nice cars or like putting all their money into a car where I remember back when I was a kid, you would just like, well, we all just had fucking beaters. Take what you fucking yeah. get. You know, yeah. like we had a, you know, a, cause that's what you get at first. You yeah. get your beater and then, mm -hmm. and then you, you know, we had drive that for a year or maybe, you, you know, year and a half, two, if you're lucky your and then you get another beater. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then, then, yeah. it and was then also, you work your way I mean, up. 
for for the past what 10 20 years it's been so easy to finance a car and it's getting harder now because interest rates are getting so damn high but i mean money was cheap so it was mm-hmm. like you know and I, I i i i've always been a big fan of don't have any debt especially car debt because you're just throwing money away i'm the same so way if you, if you can't avoid it mm-hmm. try avoid it um, listen i used always had like cheap cheap cars yeah and my first car was a super cheap car I think it's cheaper to repair an old car than, you know, to, if you can repair to get a loan. To a certain you point, can. though. Man, but trust these, me, you These can. days, no. These I've had days, cars you the old did. cars, old, quote unquote, you have a very old car. Yeah. But, like, you can't repair on your own half the shit in, in a car that's kind of considered old now. Like, a, a 20-year-old car now, 15-year-old car is going to have a lot of that computer shit in there that you can't do anything about. I mean... And shit you can't reach unless you go to a particular, you yeah. know. Like, yeah. uh, I just recently got my windshield replaced, yeah. um, and I was lucky. It was only a couple hundred bucks for a new windshield, but yeah. the guy told me a lot of cars now have sensors built into the windshield right. for temperature, weather, yeah. things like that, and that can cost hundreds and hundreds more. And you're not fixing that at home. No. You need the glass. It's all built in. Yeah, it's so. just the, the, the cars that you can actually fix, they are just... You know, they're disappearing. Well, I know people that when their car starts get breaking down a little bit, they go, I'm getting a new car. And then they get a new loan, and it just keeps stacking and stacking. Yeah, yeah. And they just get further and further in debt. I'm and like, you just can't repair your car. It's like forever right. that way. Mm-hmm. I get it. Car talk. You think? Yeah, you think there would be a nice, like nowadays, a company that could fill that spot of like, hey, I'm making a car that's super simple. You can reach everything. And easy, easy yeah. to reach yeah. everything, easy to repair. It'd be amazing. Yeah, Modules. that would be Here's very... the car, and then you set up shops around the country. Yeah. This is where you get parts. Yeah. Right. Ain't no computer shit in this yeah, either. No com- yeah. <laughs> like, There's no GPS in this fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Use yeah. your phone. Use or your phone. it is, or it's, yeah, or whatever it is computer is, it's easy and it's cheap to replace because that's what you go. Oh, okay, look, it's accessible here. And you don't have to hire somebody. You just, oh, you unplug that, you plug this yeah, back yeah. in. Yeah. It's like a Lego car. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just big modules. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> plug you'd them feel in, plug all, them you'd out. get that sense of accomplishment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I changed a belt. <laughs> 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 look at me. <laughs> look at me. Yeah, I could dig on that. But you could f- fix everything in your car. And yeah, I'd have to watch a YouTube video, right. but maybe. And you could probably reach everything. You can definitely. Yeah. There's a lot more room in my in my engine. Tons yeah. more. I remember like having a Honda, you know, back in the day, it was like an Accord of mine or whatever, and just knowing that to get to something that everyone could reach, it was like an alternator or something. It was like... People change those all the time and stuff. Oh, well, you got to drop the engine. Like bullshit like you that. Take the whole right. thing <laughs> out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like yeah. how they design them to make it impossible for you mm-hmm. to do it. I remember that Fuck happened on, I, uh, I had a Nissan Maxima back in the day, and that happened one time. Yeah, something went out, and they had to take out half the fucking engine just to get <laughs> it's to the so, thing. Like, what are, what's going on? Fuck you. Is it all a scam? Is it to, like, make labor yeah, costs higher? Sure. That they do it on purpose. Yeah. You want? <sighs> they want it to come into the dealership. Yep. You got to be certified mm-hmm. to even attempt. Yeah. Uh, that's the downside of doing business is sometimes you got to do shitty business. Mm. Yeah. And like if something went wrong with my car, like <laughs> I have to go to a computer repair shop, you know, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It is just <laughs> yeah, your a car computer. is a computer. <laughs> yeah. And I don't hate it because, yeah, I don't have to change oil or anything. Do mm-hmm. you have to leave ta- town to fix your car? I would, I would probably have to go to Raleigh or have someone come from like Raleigh. Okay. I don't think there's anything around here. But you haven't had to have your car Mm-mm. repaired yet? No. Nope. That's good. Yeah. He has a Tesla. And that whole regenerative braking that. thing I love so much, which is the weird thing when you let off the gas or the gas. <laughs> 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 what is that shit? That's not in there. <laughs> when you let off the battery? When you let off the pedal and it and it like it stops jarringly you. slows you down more than you would. A lot, of, a lot of people drive them like just using the one pedal and mm-hmm. never their brakes because it puts uh, energy back into. Uh, yeah. That's uh, hard to get used to because you let me drive your car yeah. once and I was like, man, if, you're not, if your foot's not down, yeah. you're stopping. But you get used to it like in a week, yeah. you know, if you're driving that way. I kind of love that. And it, and it makes you not have to replace brakes. In another like, 30 years. The gas pedal will still be called that, but nobody will know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like right. the save icon in Word. <laughs> yeah. What is that button? Yeah, I don't know, but it saves it. Gas? Is there gas? No gas. Oh, what is yeah. gas? Oh, ga- oh, ga- oh I have gas. gas. Is, oh, gas means that's what they used to use? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's cute and primitive. Oh. I wish I could think an example of one of those words that we still use. 
They're like, oh, why do we be, call yeah. it that? Oh, that's what I was trying to do. I was like, yeah, yeah that's got to be something. The record scratch and sound effect? Yeah. Like, even me, I've never heard a record scratch in my life, but it was always used as the mm-hmm. stop. Yeah. But you know what it is. Yeah. I'll tell you what, another thing, just as far as, like, time goes and, I guess, ve- I don't know, it's not really topical, but you know how we're, um, they just launched this next moon Mission? Artemis. Artemis. I, I mm-hmm. heard they're starting it, Unmanned. Yeah. Unmanned. Which is, it just got me thinking. I was like, it's been 50 years. And we put people on the moon, right? Yeah. And I'm not going conspiracy That's and shit like that. That's what the government wants you to think. <laughs> <That's> what, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. like, it's right there. Why aren't... 50 years? Because there's nothing there. That's what I was going to say. Well, is there just uh, look, nothing? If, if we'd have gotten there and we discovered gold, yeah. we would have been to the moon <laughs> yeah. a thousand times. We'd we'll still be oil. going today. <laughs> yeah. But we got there and realized, like, oh, there's nothing to extract. There's no well, there, value there here. There is, though, right now. Isn't is there, there something? I, didn't, didn't the Chinese find a new mineral or something? A new mineral? Don't quote I me don't on know. that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. This isn't solid information like pumpkins and big phones. But okay. I, don't know. I thought I heard right. that. I think right. it's just the real estate of it all. Is uh, you'd think that'd have been enough, like you know what? We're yeah. gonna... It's a harsh environment. Yeah, it's a harsh environment. It's... They're There's gonna be on it. past it yet. It's They're... not a jumping point to like Mars yet. No, that's true. Um, be a great place to see the planet blow up, though. From right? Yeah. Well, oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> then, then you're stuck on the moon. Yeah, yeah. With no yeah. deliveries and supplies. Without, yeah, yeah, no greenery. <laughs> yeah, there's well. probably yeah, there's probably no Uber Eats out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm hungry, and it's either really hot or freezing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk conspiracy for a second? No. Yes. Yeah, 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 do yeah. we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was I was listening to a little bit of what it was. Uh, Joe Rogan had somebody on. I don't know what the hell it was. Oh, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I'm just going to try to remember what I can. What, was it uh, the Graham? Oh, Graham pa- uh, Graham Hancock. Is that his name? <laughs> Graham pa- Graham Graham Norton? Graham Cracker. Graham Han- the guy that's talking about ancient civilizations, so he, the Younger Dryas that happened 12,000 years ago. That theory. Yes. That dude's a regular speaker down at Rhythmia where I did ayahuasca. No shit. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be, he's going to be in Asheville soon for yeah. some things. So pretty fascinating, dude. Was the guy, so there's two. There's two of them, yeah. There's two gentlemen. So which one are you talking about? The one that didn't have a beard or the one that did? Uh, either one. Okay. Because I think Graham is the one without the beard. Without the beard, yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, the one with the beard who they were, they were talking back and forth with. He goes, you know, they were talking about ancient Egypt and how they maybe could have done these pyramids, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And the uh, one of the other guy was talking uh, yeah, about I think how I know they, what you're talking yes, about now. Yes, because we were always looking for, you know, to try to understand the technological stuff that they were doing through our eyes, but we have no fucking clue what kind of technology they had back when they were building the pyramids. So, and then this one guy is like, "Well, I could talk about it now." These guys have been, they've been doing these tests for the last, let's just say, seven years or eight years or something like that in the, uh, what did he say, the Maldives or some some nation somewhere, wherever it is, right? And they've been doing tests on these um, things that related to some uh, Nikola Tesla's uh, patents that he had out or whatever it was, and also some of these, I guess, ancient traditions that apparently they've been able to somehow understand. So long story short, they're, they're doing experiments that are like, taking super large stones and like using just vibrations because yeah. apparently back in the day they had these like people would like sing in these certain vibrations and they're saying that that's the shit that was moving these heavy stones these vibrations that were created by these people with their voices so now they're simulating these vibrations and then they're doing these tests and this guy's like i've seen this fucking videos of this shit I know it's coming in the next few months. It's all going to be what? put out there and outsourced all of this technology that's been suppressed since Tesla. Because Tesla was like, you can energize everything with just the energy that's here. So in, in the, the podcast, what they said, was it convincing? Because what you said was crazy. Oh, it was so convincing. <laughs> <laughs> did you see it? Abstract, that I did. Same I one? did. I wasn't uh, as convinced as Simon. Yeah, um, but I was like, okay, that's interesting. I want to see For more. Sure, yeah, me that's too. where I'm at. I'm like, okay, that's that does sound crazy. Mm-hmm. That someone that the, the idea that you they're using vibrations to 
shape and move giant pieces. They of just stone. play a noise and a rock just starts moving. It's not playing. <laughs> they're all yeah, well, it's turning on a radio. Yeah, everything. Like if you look at the, they even had like some graphs because there's obviously a lot of science behind this, and these people are legit. I'm assuming I'm taking a lot of assumptions with Joe having some pretty legit people on there to talk about this he's, stuff. He's a he's a good that. Graham guy's pretty respected. Like, if you look at granite, granite, had, granite has a certain vibration to it that's mm -hmm. measured that if you do certain vibration, granite reacts in this way, just like other vibrations with other yeah. materials react yeah. in different ways. So it's all mathematical, apparently, to what you have to do in order to just get it just right. You know, and then maybe you have to multiply that by a thousand. Who knows? But they've well, been the doing studies goal? on this. You play the vibration and the rock does what? I guess the end goal is it was more movable. Is, is I guess power through vibration and what you can do with that just unlocks a million different things. But that was just the principle hmm. on how yeah. they potentially That's the moved idea. Stone. Like okay, maybe the, you know an ancient civilization must have might have had this technology to move large chunks of rock around, or at least help. Yeah, maybe. make it yeah. easier. I've it, seen a guy in his backyard <laughs> who his hobby was taking gigantic stones like like. Uh, what do you call it? Stonehenge type stones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just with some some logs and blocks, just rolling them or just lifting them just a touch, putting some wedges, lifting them a touch more, mm -hmm. more yeah. wedges. Yeah. This, that this seems guy. more. <laughs> that seems more realistic in my head. Well, yeah. I tell you what, I am curious about that technology. A combination. Right. You know, yeah. we see well, uh, water and sand moves when there's different vibrations and different things played. But like, not controllable. Just no, but well, crazy. that's it, that's where it, it sounds around. wackadoo. To help it, because um, everything does have a vibration. In it. So it's, if you yeah. had it, I mean, you think you could just roll it, but yeah, if it's on a flat surface and it's vibrating and it's just moving, maybe in one direction, maybe it's easier to push. Or yeah, like like guide. on your desk when you have a bassy sound playing, yeah, your mouse can sometimes shake a little and move, or a pen yeah. or something. But I guess you think going up uphill would be. Still, how would you it do would that? It would need force of probably thousands of slaves to pull it on a rope. So maybe you're pulling it on something that's vibrating. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But also point being is I think the, the larger point is we don't know what kind of technological advances that these civilizations have had. And it's pretty obvious. We have a good we, idea. We, well, not true. Yeah, no, <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, they that lived is not in, true. in huts. It's not, it's, no, no, it's not no, true no, at all. No, it's not they true. They lived in stone. There what are they, some... The, the things that they built and the things that they were able to make show, obviously, everyone, there's no, nobody's arguing with that, the intelligence yeah. that it took just to gather that, oh, which, sure. which is amazing for when it was done. Yeah. But I don't know. There are certain devices like, uh, God, I wish the name, and he's he's a guy that would talk about it. They're like, that were made so fucking long ago that you see it and you're like, how did they how yeah like it doesn't make sense that they could build that and it's like so advanced like like I analytical it, computers yeah. and stuff gears like <laughs> that would calculate and yeah all and also stuff. like that younger dryest theory is that human civilization built up to a point they didn't have technology you know they didn't reach our level of technology no plastics they didn't have plastics computers <laughs> shit sure. like that yeah but they reached a pretty amazing level of technology and it all got wiped out around what twelve thousand years ago um when debris from a comet um, basically hit the Antarctic glaciers, hmm. and the melt from the glaciers was so extreme that it wiped most of these civilizations out. I feel so like we would finding stuff, uh, but I feel like we would find more evidence. No, there's evidence. Yeah, was, but, but, yeah there's evidence all over the planet. That's yeah. the thing from this yeah. meteor impact that's twelve thousand years ago. Very similar to the KT boundary with the meteor impact that killed the dinosaurs. There's a boundary all over the planet of okay, something catastrophic must have happened this mm -hmm. year. And we found we found technology many there. Not yeah. te well, when you say technology, it's like no, we didn't find computers. No. But you know, they are constantly finding new things of like, wow, these people were more advanced than we thought. Yeah, because we always like picture you the said, huts. You said living in huts. Yeah, that's yeah. too far. Well, but I guess there's ways that you can scan now. These days, it's very expensive, but you can scan what's I guess underneath the ground. Yeah, and they're finding these Using massive sonograms. Yes, yeah. right. That is, yeah, we think it is kind of interesting to think of, but completely plausible that yeah, human civilization. Uh, we obviously didn't reach the population we have today, but yeah, there were a, a, a it was a pretty amazing civilization twelve thousand years ago. Before or after the pyramids? Like this would have been the same time. This so thing was why made. Why didn't they write it down? Because we have so much writing from them. 
that exists, but ex- any of well, that technology. a lot of that writing was probably lost. Oh, I'm sure that that got, it's I mean, not look like. I 12,000 years. It's like, can a book last 12,000 years? Yeah, and but like in the pyramid, you think tablet? they'd write like, we built this thing to do this You're thing. talking about 12,000 years ago, the potential like start well, that's, over well, that's of when a the civilization, civilization would have gone. Then that, that was, so the pyramids were well after that. Okay, if that's what Yeah, that's no, the, the pyramids were well, well, well after that. Okay. okay. If yeah. that's the case, because I'm thinking I mean, we have yeah. writing in a pyramid. Like, we have things that look like helicopters inside the pyramids. I know they're not, but you think they would also write down some of their technology. So this is beforehand. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, was that mistaken. was pyramids. I don't know. When the fuck were the pyramids? The pyramids were just... I don't know. telling you folding phones from back then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I did find one from 1998. Well, they were they were also talking about Ancient. the Sphinx, because mm. they, the Sphinx, they thought they determined was older. I don't know if you remember that on the podcast. Older than... Older than they thought. Because they thought the Sphinx was a certain age, and then they realized, oh, wow, a lot of the stuff on the Sphinx is restoration. Why would they restore something that was made at the time we thought it was made? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get up to that. Yeah, this and- is the this is the thing that I remember that I was talking about the Antikythera mechanism. What's that? An ancient Greek hand powered orrery described as the oldest example of an analog computer used analog to predict hand. astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. Like, well pretty cool and you look yeah. at it you're like yeah i wouldn't picture that fucker back then yeah <laughs> it's really amazing to see so yeah it is so fascinating just our species where yeah. it's been yeah and, like you wish you could go back you know to and just like walk around in a mayan city what that must have been like or ancient greece yeah ancient greece probably would have been fucked up yeah like <laughs> just from a yeah. moral from a moral perspective we would be like oh my god these people are hedonist yeah, I've been playing uh, a little bit of Assassin's Creed Odyssey recently, just for oh, that. So you are a historian. Well, just for that reason of I want to walk <laughs> around that place, yeah. and look at it for sure. But they they talk so modernly that I feel like this can't be how they were. I feel like they wrote the game with today's sensibilities, right? Yeah. When really they were probably murdering and pillaging and killing each other. I'm sure Maybe that was not. going on. See, but... I don't know. I never just assumed that. I don't know anything. I didn't pay attention in school. Was it really that bad back stru- then? They Probably not that own, bad. They but... their structure, their hierarchy. You yeah. Know? yeah. I, mean, they... I think it's like the news. Like, if you watch the news, you'd think people just kill everybody right and left. That's fair. That's true. Yeah. But yeah. if you walk around, people are, for the most part, friendly I mean, yeah, to each they other. trade, markets. And, yeah. You know, they had some economies. nice neighborhoods. A lot of love stories back then. A lot of rom-coms we could base back mm-hmm. then, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. We're still we still the best rom-coms. If we do it with the Romans, then yeah, we could do rom-coms with kids. That's a rom-com. Yeah. With nice. kids? <laughs> <laughs> so good, no. Nice uh, one, Duralius. Nice I don't think one. anyone frowned on that one. No, but it kind of got overshadowed by Simon. That's how it Did you hear it? No, he said. Give it he, again. We can no, I, mean, I made a pedophile again. joke. Yeah. yeah. Well, what oh, I nice. said is like he we was could doing puns and he was Rome doing pedophile coms. stuff. Yeah. Rome, Rome comes. Yeah. Sat an E in there. Mm, like Oof. It. Now we've talked yeah. about it too long. Yeah, I didn't want to bring it up again. I know you didn't. Mm. Well, is, oh, and by the way, it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We did it. Yay. You can have one it. more piece of turkey. Mm. Yeah. You'll yeah. be eating a trash no, can Enjoy turkey. Enjoy that tryptophan. Put it in your mouth. So you're doing a trash can turkey? Uh, yeah, but as long as the weather is good. Yeah, we're doing a trash can turkey again. Nice. For those of you that don't know. Um, well, today's Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh. So? So, so hurry. So I like those of you here right now. <laughs> no, not now, but th- I still want to know what it is. Everyone has a trash can. Turn I, it over. Yeah, yeah. Some of you knows what this is. Uh, some of you don't. Um, but what it is is uh, we, we put a stake in the ground. You put the turkey on the stake. You cover it with a big metal trash can. And you put hot coals around the bottom and top of the trash can. You cook it for an hour and 45 minutes. And then you take the turkey off and you eat that some bitch. Man, the so amazing that's quick. technology it's, it we've quick. invented. Yeah, exactly. and it's juicy, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the thing because it does cook it so quick, it doesn't have time to lose a lot of the juice. Oh it's, yeah, the turkey stays Oof. moist. Mm. It sounds delicious. Wow. And we also brine it for uh, twelve hours overnight. Damn. Mm-hmm. In what? Strawberry a juice. Big old uh, a cooler full of uh, some sort of orange brine with some. Uh, mm. I forgot what all's in it. Brine. Mm. Mm. PBR, it's, I assume. Yes, yes, it's it's just PBR. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beer turkey. It's a big cooler full of beer. <laughs> beer turkey this year. Simon, the other day on stream, you brought up your love for the jelly version of uh, you have cranberry, of cranberry sauce, sauce, whatever the hell. And I wanted yeah. to share that with. Yes, it's the best. Yeah, it's the greatest. Having those, hmm. uh, like oh, having this. the actual cranberries in it oh, ruins God, it. Oh God, it's awful. Oh, you want the can? Oh please, I want, the, I want yeah. it to be in the, can shape if it can uh, be. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to be the with gelatin the one because even the canned ones have. 
the 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 real cranberries in there in chunks. You go, no, 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 no. no. You Gross. need to make sure you're getting the ones that just no, 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 that real shit. Jelly, <laughs> make it cold, right? Put it in the fridge for a little bit. A cold oh, jelly yeah. cranberry sauce and then sliced. That yeah. with like some mashed potatoes and then some some always dark meat turkey with a little bit of gravy mm-hmm. all in one always. bite. Yum. <laughs> Have you had uh, the turkey over at Sawmill? At least in Monkey Junction. I'm not oh, sure about this boy, one. Jesus. <laughs> No. Everyone's talking about food. Then so I everyone one wants thing. to know about this. We don't have to. No, you might want to try it. I'm, it's I'm, pretty no. good. They got the cranberry. But it's not. Jelly. But, it, it, but it's not dark meat. If they gave a dark meat option, I'd you do don't it. Know. I'm do with you, you know? on that. I, I'm pretty you sure. Ask. Stop by there. I know you. Go I can't by there ask without time. anyone giving me shit. You'd be like, oh, you're asking what kind of turkey meat what to kind get? Dog meat. Anthony, hey, you want to get a pizza turkey? This I weekend? do. What was that place's name? Uh, it's um, uh, Wright's. Or, you I'm mean sorry, Turkey Pizza? I think it's just Wilmington Brewery. Wilmington Brewery has a Thanksgiving pizza. I'd be down. With turkey, stuffing. gravy instead of sauce. Mm-hmm. What? Um, stuffing. Stuffing, everything with a cranberry like drizzled Fuck. swirl yes. all over it. I'm it in on that. It is so good. That has to be. I got it as a joke when I went, <laughs> and I was so surprised. I'm all about it. I've had a uh, Thanksgiving Benedict. Yeah? Mm-hmm. For breakfast? Yeah, for breakfast before. Mm. Mm-hmm. There was a place downtown that had like six different kind of eggs Benedict, yeah. and oh. one of them was a Thanksgiving one. Hell yeah. yeah. It was kind of the similar idea. Yeah. So just covered with top of gravy, and that was your hollandaise? Just was gravy? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was just one of the options. It was huh. kind of silly, a little gimmicky, but it was good. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony, I'll hit try. you up this weekend. Yeah, let's do it. We got to go yeah, get a pizza. We'll get a pizza. They pizza. better have it. <laughs> we can we we get online. We can look. Yeah. Yes. I was the only one who bought it. <laughs> We're going to Floyd's down in Moorhead City. Floyd's is great. That's where we're having Thanksgiving. Yeah. Hey, all right. Yeah, yeah, it's a very traditional menu for the day, and I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm all about it. That'd be oh cool. man, Floyd's is good. Floyd's is a it's it's a it's a fun spot. They've had they just took this old house, yeah, converted it into a wonderful little restaurant. Cool. Yeah, you, yeah, you I'm you excited. Like Floyd's. That'll be good. That'll be good. Nice. You're Nibs. going to a sawmill, I assume, Nibs. Nah, man. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I know you're going home. I'm going to Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah, you're going to Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's home, hey, essentially, hey, for you. Oh, that's home for me. That's kind of your home. Man, it's so easy to get to. I it's, love that. Uh, yeah, it's, um, I'm yeah. going to a place called Ropa Vieja. Oh, yeah. Mm. I still need to go. We've talked oh, so many yeah. good things about it. Why yeah. don't we all just go? It's, yeah. I think it's cheaper than vacation in here. Probably. All right. The hotels are cheaper there than they are here in Wilmington. Right. Oh, I'm sure. Good God. No, that sounds warm. great. It's yeah. always warm. Mm. Piece of shit. That sounds wonderful. We can bring laptops, record outside we'll do somewhere. a Puerto Rican podcast. Yeah. Let's do it. We Let's make content. It. Yeah, it'll be Puerto Rico week. Yeah. yeah. We can do it for a week and play from Port- there. Puerto, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah. Puerto, Puerto Rico week. <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Come on. All right. You stop. Yeah, that's a pun there. Yeah, but we can just stop it. Yeah. <laughs> or we can keep workshopping it so we find something good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's work it out here on the podcast. I don't know. Yeah. Week of Rico. Nah. No, 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 I just, I stopped. Yep, all right. <laughs> Maybe we up. should just Never stop give up. then. All right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just stop. No one to stop, folks. Happy Thanksgiving. No one to fold them. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy everyone. Thanksgiving, Happy everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Get the cranberry sauce. Do it. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Mwah.